because that's where we really kind of hit it pretty big over there. And it was, uh, well, it was kind of, we, we opened for Queen because they asked us before our first record came out. In 1977, our record came out. But before that, we did the first two shows uh, from the Night at the Opera or what, I don't know what album because they'd heard a record and liked it. Here's an unknown band from the Midwest. It's like, what but they liked it because they're they're cool, and and they asked us. And at that show, all the Japanese press was there just because they were huge in Japan, and they liked the opening band. And that's the same thing happened with us with Kiss. They liked the opening band as opposed to they're waiting for Kiss or Queen and they hate the opening band. They haven't liked it. And so then the Japanese press started writing about us without the, our record even being out. And we started getting seen in, in magazines. I don't know, and you'll see there's some magazines over here, little caricatures and stuff of us. It's like, wow, you know, we can't read any of the stuff because it's all in Japanese. And then we started getting fan mail. And then uh, the Japanese magazine, I think it was Umgang Senka or, or Music Life, asked me to write Working with Queen. Okay, you know, I'm full of crap, I'll write stuff. So I wrote a thing, working with Queen the first two nights, you know, I'd explain it my way or whatever, and they translate it, and they you know, great, hope to come over there someday or whatever. And that was kind of really started promoting us. And before you knew it, we had number one songs in Japan from Queen and Kiss, because the same thing happened with Kiss, too. You know, the Japanese press are there, because they're huge there. And all of a sudden, now we, we beat them in the polls, we beat Queen. <laughs> you know, it's like, well, we were the you know, new kids on the block, and, uh, no, not like them but, uh, <laughs> and uh, but so it, it kind of blossomed from kind of a fluke in a way but but they liked what we did I mean it's like you know thank God we're not menudo or something like that and, uh, there's a you know four-year-old Rick Nielsen running around here